Okay, buddy. So I got this. Um, これちょっと英語で説明しますからね。日本人はよくわかると思う。So、uh, some of my、uh, English speakers don't know what this is, but this is a、uh, rice maker. This is one of those camping camp style rice makers. So, um, uh, the Japanese folks know what this is. No reason to explain it in Japanese. I'm going to explain it.、Uh, we're going to、uh, wash it up in my little kitchen here. We're going to take it out to my barbecue area and we're going to try to make some rice with it. So, this little thing is really cool because number one, it has the little, you know, for the, for the uh, irori, uh, the irori, my little uh, uh, suspended uh, fire.、Um, I don't know what to call it in English. <laughs> I'll show you later.、Um, and then inside, when you open this up, it has、um, a little pan. And you're supposed to fill that. And that's two cups of rice when you fill that. And once you fill that, you, you dump it in here. Okay? And once it's dumped into here, you got these two little markers in here. I don't know if you can see them very well, but there's two little markers. The bottom marker is for two cups. The top marker is for four cups. So that would mean two of these. So we're going to do two cups today. And what you're supposed to do is fill this up, throw this in here, fill that up to that marker with water, and、uh, let it sit for an hour. And then without this, then we're supposed to close this up. Throw it over the fire till it puku puku puku. And once it does that, we gotta let it sit an hour. Then we put it on a puku 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 puku. We let it、uh, 15 minutes and then we flip it upside down. We wait another 10 minutes and evidently we have rice. So、uh, I'm gonna wash it up and we're gonna try it. Alright, now wash it out. Put two cups in here.、I'm、kinda nervous. Hold it over the sink. You know how it is when you get those little rice kernels falling on your floor and everything. See, like that. All right, so that's two cups. That's perfect. What do you think? That two cups? So we got to put it in here. See, it still falls out. And then. Use water, and I want to use regular water, but the wifey gets all freaked out about it,、uh, so she makes me buy water. We got, a, we got a water freaking machine for special ice cube water. <laughs> Let's not get into it right now. I drink from the regular tap, but <laughs> I ain't the boss of the water. There's a few things I might be boss of, but I ain't the boss of the water. Okay, so I filled it up to that bottom. Yeah. And we're supposed to let this soak for one hour. So we're going to do that. We're going to put the top on. You saw me put the water in. And we're going to go outside. All right. Okay, so we're. Hey, I got Mr. Kuchimura. He's our neighbor. He's done hundreds and hundreds of these. And so he came over to look. And we got the charcoal going. We got the rice in there. And that's on my、uh, little irori hook there. It's all set up.、And、we've got it next to the coals. And what we're going to be waiting for is the bubbles to come out the side. And then we'll go from there. Yeah. Need some old man eat it. これ中蓋入れてるんかな入れてないよね入れてないですかはいはい中蓋入れてないよね What's on... So as you see, it's a little burnt around the edges.、Um, I think we left it on too long at low heat, and when we、uh, got the fire going really good, it ended up、uh, actually burning it. So,、uh, What we thought was maybe we need to get the higher heat first. And then when it starts to bubble, you can hear it bubbling. You flip it upside down like this, 
and you tap it, um, he said with a wooden stick or a branch, is just how they've always done it. I mean, he's 79 years old, and he's done hundreds of these. And um, you leave it like that, usually for about uh, five to 10 minutes. And uh, once it sits there, it uh, you know it's flipped upside down. The other side can breathe now, and it uh, supposedly still is cooking that uh, what was the top part of the rice now on the, on the bottom part. So <clears throat> there you are. Um, it did not work out uh, on our first try as expected, and uh, he did tell me I should have had the heat a uh, lot higher. And um, you know me, I'm I just. Uh, uh, I'm always uh, uh, slow and easy, <laughs> but after a little while here, uh, we'll flip it upside down. So here we go, uh, <laughs> flipping it back the other way, and uh, I mean the smell, I mean you see a lot of smoke, but the smell from the rice is there. It, was, um, it ended up, uh, um, you know, being... Uh, very tasty rice, the, the part that was not uh, burnt. So um, he kept uh, thinking, of, should I open it? Should I not open it? And so said, ah, what the heck, let's see what's inside. And uh, he got it open. He said, well, let's just wait a minute. <laughs> and I said, well, let me mix it up and see what it's doing here. And uh, it was nice and fluffy on the inside. side. I'll get a better shot here of this in just a minute. We, I tried a little bit. It ended up being very, very good, except for the part, like I said, that, that burnt. So instead of slow and easy, and I, I, I handed some to him, um, instead of slow and easy, it's a, it's a high heat, and when it bubbles, take it off the heat, and um, just like you would regular rice, I guess. Um, I was thinking the aluminum container had some other kind of special, you know, thing going on. That's the rice. And again, it turned out uh, very good. My wife actually took it and uh, made some butter rice out of it. And uh, we ate it with the salmon that we had barbecued, uh, smoked the, the day before. It was just that one layer at the bottom there. And um, there you go. So we'll challenge it again in the future. And thank you for watching, guys.